Hello, welcome to the Camera Nostalgia Club. My name's Max. I'm here with another video using an old digital camera. Today it will be the Panasonic Lumix DMC TZ1 from 2006. It's a great little camera in my opinion. In today's video, I will be taking it for a walk. The main idea was to just go on a walk, take the camera and talk to you. But it is my birthday week. I am kind of busy doing birthday stuff, but I wanted to stay true to my word and continue uploading YouTube videos this year. I want to become more consistent on this channel and showcase more cameras so more people can have a modern day opinion on the camera. So yeah, a couple of days ago, I went out for an early birthday meal and a couple of drinks. I went to a lovely little town. Um, they've got like an old church and it's by the sea. Well, I call it the sea. It's called an estuary. I sort of live on the Thames estuary. So I'll show you the photos I got from a couple of days ago. I just shoot on automatic mode. I do get asked quite a bit. I'm aware that there's a few different settings you can use on this camera. In the future, I may start get getting more in depth with the photos. But as I sell these cameras as well, I like to just shoot in automatic mode and show the camera in raw form. <laughs> just wanted to quickly say thank you to everyone that is joining the club and subscribing to the YouTube channel. My goal is to build a community of like-minded people who like the old cameras. I will be using a whole variety of different cameras, so if it's something you like, a subscribe will go a long way for me. Thank you very much. I'd also like to mention that I have started a members area on my website where you can download free presets. I will be doing monthly giveaways and I'll also be releasing cheap £10 mystery boxes and basically what these mystery boxes are is I will just put a random digital camera in a box for £10 and then that way you get an old camera for a good price and in return obviously the membership fee it's £1.99 that will go into this channel and then I can go out and make more videos so I just wanted to make it so you get something in return there is other stuff on there as well like I've given information about how to grow a social media page and stuff like that because I've grown a few in my time and I'm currently at 200,000 on TikTok so I'm quite pleased about that and thank you again to everyone that has joined the club. So this is where my walk begins. I like to walk down through the field a bit and then I'll be walking from the church right through back to my house over here somewhere and just basically showing what sort of photos and pictures I take and what you can do with just going on a simple walk. <laughs> In 
interestingly on my walk, as I was walking towards the church, I took a photo of it and some random guy said, do you like churches? Oh, no, he said, do you like that church? I was like, yeah, I do actually, because I take a lot of photos of it and I'm always always attracted to going to this church. And basically, he was saying that he's trying to save it from the council, our local council, because they want to come in and modernise it and basically ruin all the history and the culture of the church. Very interesting guy, and he knew a lot. Um, he was definitely into his history and good on him, really, trying to save and look after a historic piece of our town. And he actually gave me loads of information on the church itself, all of the history, and just basically seemed like a really nice guy. It sort of cut the walk short because I was stood there for quite a while talking and chatting about it. But I still managed to go into the church after and get some photos. So that was pretty cool. And it's just nice to meet like-minded people who enjoy the same thing. And we had the same middle name, John, which is my dad's name. So shout out, Dad. So I hope you're enjoying the video so far and the photos I've taken with this camera. Like I said, I do really enjoy it. It's a really nice camera. It's built of metal as well, which I always do enjoy. Panasonics are just a solid option. I know I say that every time I talk about a Panasonic or a Sony Cybershot, but they just are. They're just good quality, solid options. I never have any problems with them. Nothing ever seems to go wrong. And the Lumix range is just great. And they've got Leica lenses. So what can you not like about a Leica lens? So it is a 2006 5 megapixel camera with a 1 over 2.5 CCD sensor. It obviously comes with that lovely Leica lens. It's a 10 times zoom lens. And interestingly, it was the world's smallest optically stabilized 10 times zoom camera at the time. It's got a built-in flash and it also uses an SD card. I will recommend to just, whenever you buy one of these old cameras, if you're shopping for an SD card, just get a two gigabyte one. Because some of these old cameras, anything above that, at the time, there was no such thing as more than two gigabytes. So just to be on the safe side, get yourself a two gigabyte SD card. It's got a nice big screen on the back, um, plenty of space to see your shots because obviously it doesn't come with a viewfinder. It's got plenty of settings and different modes for you to go through, which is always fun. I quite like the Panasonic menus. They're quite easy to navigate and find what you need. And it's obviously got the different modes. It's got macro mode, automatic mode, which I shoot on. It's got a video mode. And then it's got two scene modes where you can obviously change all your settings and shoot how you want to. So all round, as I've said before, the Panasonic range is just a must for me. If you're looking for an old digital camera and you don't know which one to get, just search for a Panasonic and give it a go. Obviously, back in the day, they was a bit more experimental with the shapes and sizes. So my advice is to just pick a camera that you look like the look of. And then when you get it, obviously, you'll fall in love with the photos and taking out shooting. Well, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you enjoyed the Panasonic DMC TZ1. Let me know what you thought of the photos. Let me know what you thought of the camera. Maybe you've had one before or maybe you're looking for one. Like I said, I'm very thankful for everyone that is joining the club. Sub down below means the world to me. Hopefully we can build a cool community and I can keep making videos like this. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.